hello. Uh, let's talk about Season 5 and the end changes that have come. Uh, I won't be talking about V Trigger 1 really, and there'll be some changes that I don't really talk about, but I'll talk about most of the important ones and his new V skill. But let's start off with his back movement speed has been increased. Uh, it's hard to see, but it's definitely increased. Uh, this is good. This is a good buff. Back walk speed generally more important than forward walk speed for the purposes of spacing with punishing and kind of baiting this and that. So, a good buff. Now, this B skill. Uh, there's two parts. There's this. Well, there's four parts really. There's that, which is just tapping it. There's this, which uh, is holding it. Oops. Uh, there's that, which is holding it, and there's that version of it. Um, these all do different things, different frame data. Uh, let's go, God, oh. This is minus six, but it goes through fireballs. And if you fully charge it, it is minus two. Uh, both of these are cancelable into V Trigger 2, not V Trigger 1. Where they become very plus, but they push back a lot. Fully charged is plus 10, but you can, you can still get a bit of a mix up there. And this one's plus 7, but they get pushed back pretty far. Uh, as for how good these are at going through fireballs, the answer is pretty good. Um, I'm a bit out of practice. So I can't say for sure against faster characters like Guile how good it is. But against regular Fireball characters it's a very easy reaction. As you can see. Uh, by the way, you don't get anything off this activation. Uh, here. There's nothing off that. But, as I was saying... That's very easy to do. Uh, the only way you can combo off this move is if you are already... Well, in the corner which I will show, actually. Let's go to the corner, shall we? This is a very kind of niche application, but in the corner, if you activate, you can get a combo. You can do that. You can do, obviously, that. And obviously, it works. do that if you have the corner there but at full screen or like a full screen kind of position um, the only way you can really combo off this move is if you're already in the trigger 2 because what you can do um, is I'll just put this back on Something like that. Uh, down V Trigger 2 will always combo off of this move. Next we'll talk about the second part of his V Trigger, this move. Um, as you can see, this is an alright anti-air. It's largely redundant because of uh, some rising buffs that I'll get to later, but it has some niche uses. Um, I'll show you one example actually. This is another V trigger to exclusive kind of thing because uh V trigger two is the only one this that can cancel off this. So as an anti-air, because you can activate off it, you can do something like this, right? Which um you're like the only reason you'd ever really do this realistically is to go into super, which you can't do from uh the other one. So if I can just, you know, not mess it up. Oops. There we go. That and being a bit better at anti-cross-up kind of stuff, I feel, are the only uses of, as an anti-air that I see for this move. Um, when you do not charge this move up, it is minus 6 on block, which is, yeah, <laughs> nothing special. Um, when you do charge it up, it's plus 3, and you're in throw range. But the problem with this is, you don't realistically, there's no 
realistic setups to get in a situation where you can do this. Um, it's five active frames, which means it can theoretically cover both rises. But it's just so hard to be in a situation where this is, you know, if people delay rise, you can get it then. Psycho Rising. This move has been pretty heavily buffed, in my opinion. Um, it got a bit more range, so to give you an example of its better range, this is the old bread and butter combo, right? There used to be some characters you could do this to, but now you can do this to every character. You can do... That's just to give you an idea of the range change, right? But, um, moving on. One change they made is that you... When you're riding the EX, you can combo into upper. And not only that, upper is... It does 20 extra damage. You got a 20 damage bar. So this... This is a big damage buff, so your BNB damage combo is going to be like that, right? And you can still do V-Skill if you want. Uh, if you want to build V-Meter, whatever it is, then you can still do something like that. The biggest buff to this move, however, is uh, what I'm about to show you. Off anti as you can now upper, or if you want to do the V skill, you know, whatever. But this is a crazy buff. Like, um, you do so much damage just off anti as now. So much damage just off your regular anti air. If you have a bar, you know, this is just crazy. People really aren't going to want to jump at this character anymore. And he was already hard to jump at if you were on point. So this is a really good buff. Uh, one of the better buffs for Ed. Psycho Flicker has also been pretty substantially buffed. Um, it's plus 3 on hit now, which, you know, it's great, whatever. Doesn't combo into anything, uh, but... Plus three on hit, that's cool. It moves forward a lot more, it kind of sucks in a little bit. As you can see, something like that would have never hit all three hits uh, in the past. And it's minus two on block now, um, which means it's unpunishable. But because it sucks you in and you're a bit closer, it's kind of scarier. But one of the coolest things about this move being buffed is now you can combo into, sorry, cancel, into V-Trigger 2. Not V-Trigger 1, <laughs> but V-Trigger 2, you can cancel, you have a really good way of activating, and this is just really awesome that uh, you can do this. It's a really good buff. And a couple of normal kind of frame data changes and stuff. One is, this move is, it's still the same old, look at that, yeah, see, within, oh look, it still does that. <laughs> they didn't fix the range, but they made it one frame faster. Uh, it is now seven frames start up instead of eight frames. And this is very important. Um, as you can see, I have the dummy on counter hit. What this means is that you can counter hit combo into this move now, so you can, if you're trying to stop someone from walking back on their wake up or whatever, you know, they, they're gonna walk out of whatever you're doing. This will cover not only that, but if they wake up button, um, it's got you covered. It's got you covered right there. So this is a really cool buff as well. This is a buff I actually, I don't know if I ever said it in a video. But I always said, they just need to make this move one, one frame faster so that it can counter hit into stuff and you can cover a lot more options. So this is a cool buff. Um, another really cool buff with normals is they made the pushback on this move a lot less and they changed some other stuff. But the really cool part of it is you get a three hit combo. And because Flicker is better, You can do that, right? But you better off. Oops. Oh man, look at that reach. 
here. But this is a great confirm. Another way to stop people from, you know, just walking out of stuff. Another way to be annoying. You can cancel into that, get your, you know, Oki, get your setups, get your corner carry. This is just like a really awesome change. Doesn't combo off that, but EXDP, you know, hands into V trigger cancel. Very cool addition. Really, it might not look like much, but this is like a, a big buff. Like, very quality of life, but very strong. Uh, one uh, important change to uh, V Trigger 2 is that the Enhanced Snatcher is now plus 3 on block instead of plus 2, which has been in the past. This is a pretty good buff. Not as good as I was hoping. Um, two reasons. Even with the improved walkback uh, speed, this is still... you can't shimmy, right? I mean, you can do like, you know, you can do like maybe a jab shimmy or whatever if you want, but you can't just straight shimmy off it, um, which is disappointing. And the gap between uh, plus three and crouch heavy punch is five frames. So it happens on the same frame as the throw. If they throw as soon as... Uh, they tech, sorry, as soon as possible. Uh, but it will blow up the late techs pretty hard, so it's kind of iffy. But the important thing about this is your six frame buttons are now legitimate three frame frame traps, which wasn't the case before. So it's a good buff. V Trigger 2 in general has been very buffed uh, with the cancels and being like you know going off of this and like I just showed then V Trigger 2 they've really tried to buff uh, it's still kind of I mean for a 3 buy it's, it's whatever people if people block this they're just gonna be reversal like pretty much every time you know but it's it's whatever it's okay-ish And finally, just a couple of weird things I've run into so far. Um, you can get a weird DP juggle. Uh, I might mess this up a couple times. But... Oops. Well, I didn't expect to mess it up like that. Oops. This is, it's really hard to do. You need it. It's not the most, it's not really hard. But... There we go. That's a weird juggle, right? Um, that works for some reason. I know why it works because uh, the changes to just. But how useful is it? I'm not too sure. But one thing that I've found weird, uh, this is not an optimal damage combo. It's, it does about 20 or so less damage, but what you can do is that. Which is kind of weird. Um, it gives you a different knockdown, right? Which is interesting, I guess. Uh, build some v, v meter. I guess it could be good against grapplers, just get them off you and build some space, right? It's build some V meter, sacrifice damage. Although I feel like if you're fighting a lot of grapplers like Geef or Abigail, you're probably going to be using V skill 1 um, over V skill 2. So it's kind of interesting. And it does combo like that, as I said, this move will always, always combo off that. So yeah, uh, that's all I have to say really. Overall I think, he, Ed got buffed pretty hard, but he's kind of just like a, a normal character now, you know? He's, not, he's definitely not going to be top tier or anything, but he's kind of, he feels like a proper character now that he, it works how they're supposed to work instead of some weird half-baked, like, kind of thing <laughs> that he used to be, where you do everything, you just say, like, why doesn't this work, or what, what's happening? He's, 
you know, maybe still bottom 10. Hard to say. I don't think he's bottom 5. Although, a lot of the worst characters in the game also got pretty significant buffs. So, it's interesting. Um, he's a lot more fun to play now. He's a lot more well-rounded. We'll see how it goes. But, thanks for watching. Uh, I might make a video, another practical tips and tricks video, if I find enough stuff that's, you know, worth putting in there. But yeah, that's all for now.